everyone else is getting married in real life. Only me. I must be the only one getting married in my dreams. Audio wedding. God, what kind of life is this, man? This is not fair. Why can't this just be for real? Just woke up, so I, I'll, I'll be right over. All right? Okay, fine, but please don't keep us. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to be an auntie again. First, I can't bear it any longer. I can't. Okay, um, I just woke up, so I, I'll, I'll be right over. All right? Thank God you are here. Yes, Amy. Thank God you are here. Where, 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 is, where is Tina? I've been hearing from the doctor. I've not heard from them. They've been in there for over four hours now. I can't bear it any longer. How long does it take to deliver a baby? Look, just, just calm down, okay? Then I understand your condition. Just calm down, okay? It being your first baby, I suggest that you be prepared to waste the whole day. No way! I can't! Oh, no! Uh, oh, yes. Believe you me. I, yes. can't, I can't waste the whole day here. Yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Daniel. Wow. He's a girl. Wow. He's a girl, Victoria. He's a girl. Wow. He's a girl. Wow. He's a girl. Wow. Sit down now, why are you standing? I don't understand you, baby. 
very beautiful. <laughs> um, Um, when we played the role of um, bridesmaid at your wedding, exactly. and no one ever saw you again. My darling, actually, my husband was transferred to Abuja, and we had to oh, move, Abuja. you know. But we're here now. Wow, mm -hmm. so nice to see you. <sighs> oh my God. What? Don't tell me you are still single. <laughs> you don't have to jail. My dear, is what yelling? Don't tell me you'll be one of those single ladies who would end up as old maids because <coughs> of their high in men. Oh. Well, as you know, good men are hard to come by. Okay? I mean, and if they sold them in the markets, I would have bought them like that. You know, while some of us are busy being hard-working career ladies, others are being housewives. Hmm. Well, hurry, my darling. Hurry. As they say, time waits for no one. You know, yeah. I wouldn't want you to end up like that, you know end up like those career women littered about. I wouldn't want that for you, darling. Hmm. You know, I quite agree. Time waits for no man. Of course. So tell me, how long have you been married now? Huh? It's about three years. Mm -hmm. so how many kids do you have now? Hmm? Sam and I are still yet to have kids. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I really think you should hurry up. Time waits for no man. I don't want you to end up like one of those bar women out Victoria! there. Victoria! How could you be so cruel? How do you mean? I'm not God that gives kids, am I? Exactly. I'm not God that gives good husbands, am I? Please, don't come and rain on my parade. I'm here to see my stuff. Just had a kid. You know, since we lost our mom a long time ago, and you are the oldest sister, so you could as well assume the role of grandmother. No, 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 I could not as well have assumed any grandmother. <laughs> I'm your elder sister, I'll do just fine with that. Because I'm really not that old. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine, because I'm just wondering why you've been insinuating that I'm your grandmother. I mean, I'm not even close to 65 it's or 105. Okay, sis, I, did, I didn't mean anything but what I said, but you seem so touchy. Is there a problem? No. I'm fine. <laughs> so I got you a pursu and it's really, really delicious. I trust you. Finger licking delicious. <laughs> you know, you took care of Kristen's wife when she put to bed very well. And you seem so good at this on mobile profession. <laughs> okay, did, did I say something wrong? Mm? You know what? Never mind. You didn't say anything wrong. It's fine. Just eat your food. It's, it's, um, okay. It must be famished. Thank you. Oh my god, Victoria. That was really wicked of you. Really? Mm -hmm. But I must say, she had it coming. Oh yes, she did. <laughs> I mean, I can remember how that bitch called us all out after she got married. <sighs> Thinking these single ladies are a threat to her marriage. Well, if it's any consolation, she still has the same bitch as well, so nothing to worry about. Can you imagine? <laughs> you know, she thought she was the only person with this marriage lock. Hmm. Probably she hmm. felt we won't marry, let alone have kids. Hmm. But surprise, surprise, we all are married. Surprise, surprise, everybody but me. 
Oh gosh, Victoria, don't be like that. Like what? What? Uh, I'm sorry, was I complaining? It's just that everyone else is married except me. I mean, even my siblings are married, and soon I'll be 35 and still there's no Mr. Right in sight. Let alone miss that. Wrong. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating the obvious. <laughs> it's very annoying. I'm sorry, Vicky. I never knew you felt that way. <laughs> Everything is fine. Besides, I thought it was something my forehead the way I felt. But in any case, now you know. So, if you happen to know any eligible bachelor, mm -hmm. whether it's Mr. Right or Mr. Wrong, please kindly send it my way. Because, seriously speaking, I have decided that before my 35th birthday, I will be married. Come here, Lord High Water. Vicky, don't be in a hurry. Hurry. Yeah, it's another <laughs> Another penny for those thoughts, Miss Phillips. Miss Phillips? Oh, it's nothing, sir. I just. Um, is there something I can help you with, sir? Oh, yes, there is. But first, I would want to ask what has got those wallet lines on your brows? It's nothing, sir. Really? Nothing. All right, if you say so. Um, I want you to quickly prepare a, a presentation for the contract with Obanes and Co. Okay. Yes, we'll be having a meeting with them by 2 p.m. Okay. That's it. I'll see you. Um, sorry, something else. Um, can you please go with me to the mall after the meeting? Sure, sir. Uh, that won't be a problem, of course. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, my cousin is having a wedding in two weeks. So, I thought it would be wise if a lady go with me to make a choice since she's a female. Yeah. Sure. Of course, sir. Uh, I'll be there. Don't worry. I won't tell you. A wedding gift for your cousin. Okay. Please be fast. Ring me once you're done, okay? All right, sir. Miss Philip, I want to thank you once again for that wonderful presentation. I mean, we wouldn't have won the contract otherwise. <laughs> thank you, sir. You you are most welcome. Um, it's good to know that you're getting great value for your money. I mean, to be a total waste for you to be paying me that huge amount of money and not get, you know, great value. Yeah, there is no doubt about that. I mean, you are so valuable to the company that I am even thinking of, of giving you a raise. Sir! Oh my God, that will come in so handy, God knows. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, um, please forgive me if I seem to be praying, Miss mm. Phillips. Please, can you remind me again why you don't own a car? Because I know you are capable of buying yourself a new car and um, equally moving out of this area that I do not like. What? And risk chasing all my potential suitors away? No, <laughs> no. What's that? <sighs> well, men don't like women who are too accomplished. I'll leave all that and then buy myself a car after I've gotten married. I'm surprised. I mean, this sounds so strange because um, any man who is being scared of by a woman's sophistication is not a man to be with. Trust me. Well, too bad. Your likes are really scarce in the market. Well, I have to go now. I hope your cousin likes her gift. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for helping me with that. Really, I would have messed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir. Permit me to say that 
there's really nothing you cannot do without me you understand and i'm hoping that you can consider that when you're thinking of that race that you talked about okay <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow in the office all right so okay do have a splendid night <laughs> thank you sir good night do this can we not even go there just i just just thinking maybe we should wait until you get back and then we could you know are you kidding me like i feel the same way but just don't know you know cyber sex it's it's it doesn't make any sense to me. I I I, I would have preferred to, you know, just I mean I don't know why you're being like no This is the twenty first century. Everyone is actually doing this book right now. Well I'm not everyone, okay? I'm not everyone. I just don't see any point in doing you just it's just, just very weird if you understand what I mean. I just don't even I don't even know what No, don't say that. Wait, wait, are you... He hung up. Hey, babes. Hello, Vicky. How are you? I'm alright, so... Are you okay? You don't sound okay. What's the problem? Well, just had some lover stiff, if I can even call it that stiff. Lover stiff. Well, don't tell me you're holding back an important gist from me. Anyways, I hope you guys rectify it. But here is the good news. Hobby's business partner said he's finally ready to tie the knot but he needs um, a good woman oh yeah that is good news okay so wait, 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 wait. who is he when can i meet him Okay. Yes, I have a move. I am Namde. Namde, Alozi. But my friends, they like to call me Aloski Lala. <laughs> and, and by the way, that is my business name. Eh? Oh. You can call me Aloski Lala. <laughs> uh, You're welcome. Do you mind if I just call you Namde? Namde. Hmm. <laughs> Baby, you go to my coachy coachy, eh? Baby, you okay? <laughs> Doctor's prescription four times a day. Oh. Try. Baby, you okay? You can call me anything you like, eh? Okay. And but the one I don't used to like is eh, to call me baby, eh? I am not a baby. I don't man like me oh. now. Nah. <laughs> we go to the money. I can't call me a baby. <laughs> baby, you're welcome. Thank hmm? you. Uh, 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 I've been very, very hungry waiting for you. You came very late. Eh? Yeah, so we'll call sorry. waiter to bring us food. Mm, but I hope uh, this is not uh, a habit of yours. Eh? No, <laughs> that is this again. Uh. Waiter! Waiter! <laughs> mm. 
Ah, uh, baby, hmm? baby, you go to okay. Hmm? Is he anything the matter? Oh, no, no. I this is why you are still standing. Oh, why my for the government there? Eh? <laughs> I think it is the time for you to sit down. Eh? Just sit down. Eh? Let us order and eat. Eh? Where is this waiter? <laughs> Chai, baby. Everything about you, they go the very okay. You go the exactly doctor's prescription, eh? You go the doctor, oh no, go chai! <laughs> hey, happy to see you, eh? Chai! No wonder they call this place the five star restaurant, eh? Chai, see? Their food is very, very sweet. It remains small, it will be sweeter than my mother's cooking. <laughs> you don't say. And that reminds me. I hope you know how to cook food, good food, because me, I don't used to play with my stomach. <laughs> you know? They say the fastest way to a man's heart. It's through his stomach, that is me. I know still a lot. So you must know how to cook. Trust me, you don't have to worry about your stomach. <laughs> I can cook, so it's not a problem. Not a problem. Mm. Small thing. This is wonderful. Yes. Very, 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 very wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mama. <laughs> but I am sure. No matter how well you cook. You cannot cook food that is sweeter than my mother's cooking. Because me, eh, I know skill a lot. I have traveled far and wide. I have eaten everything. I have eaten mama put. I have eaten Chinese restaurant. I have eaten everything. Mm? Mm. But no food that is sweeter than my mother's cooking. Eh? Wow. Is that mm. so? Mm hmm True. Don't be shy, don't be shy, eh? No more, no skill a lot. I like you. Looking at you from head to toe, that is, eh? you look like a way, you look like I can eat you. <laughs> no, no, not eat you like a meat. Not eat you like a meat. Yes, follow you like a love. <laughs> yes, yes eh? Eh, baby, you know, your kind of woman is what a rich man like me needs. It is good to have a beautiful woman. Yes. Mm? When a man makes so much money like I have made, really eh? nice. build a beautiful house. <laughs> when you pack beautiful fine fine cars for the house, eh? you buy painting. You know painting? You yes. buy painting put for the house. You put beautiful, beautiful things for the house. You mean one thing. A wife. <laughs> a very, very fine woman to add to the property of the house as decoration. So when visitors come, they will enjoy the house very, very well. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, I, I don't quite follow the um, furniture, as in decoration, decoration. Yeah, baby, why is your face burning? Eh? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's just a joke. Oh. Eh? You know, eh? Big men like good things. Oh, yeah. A man that does not like good things, or A big man like good things, eh? So when men make money and build good things, only one thing remains. Beautiful property of a wife. You know, a wife is a man's property of pride. Oh, okay. That is what I mean. Oh, okay, so mm. you, you, you think I'm an acquisition? Like, to acquire? I'm just... Yes, yes, you're a woman, I'm a man. Hmm? That is true, and I have made the money. Uh, but uh, just one thing. When I look at you ordinarily, I want you, everything, I want you, I want you, I want you to spend the time and rest life with me. Mm? But one thing, just one thing that is disturbing me. Uh, this one that you are a career woman. Uh, that career woman is disturbing me. And that is the problem? Career woman. Mm. You know, all these career women, they don't used to like to be controlled. They don't like to stay under a man. 
They don't like it at all. And me, I'm a big man. I have made the money. Uh, there's no way I can have a woman rubbing shoulder with me in my own house. Oh. Rubbing shoulder with me over my own money. Mm. Eh, no, that is not too good. So, baby, I'm a little bit of 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 a little I will not even consider to marry you unless you first and foremost resign from that your job, that your career. Eh? Show me that you are ready to be a wife for, eh? uh, and a mother. Hmm? That one. Sorry. <laughs> what is it, baby? Oh my, oh my, what is it? You want to go to the toilet? No, baby, baby, easy. That guy literally asked you to quit your job as a criteria for him to consider you. You don't know the half of it. And this was after he told me that no woman can cook better than his mother. And the next thing he said was like, I was some piece of furniture and that, and that, 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 that he considered me high. Mm -hmm. And the next thing he called me was that I was a decoration and that he thought that I was too high-minded because I was a career woman or something. Just something funny like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Vicky. Hmm. I never knew Namdi is such a caveman. Yes. And I'm sure neither do my husband, Raphael. Hmm. But then, I'm so sorry. I never meant to put you in such a No, it's fine. It's not, it's not like you knew. I mean, well, now that we know, that's one down, so many others to go. There goes our Namdi. He could have been the one, mm. but he isn't. So, <laughs> enough of Namdi. Ah, yes, so. Now let's talk about Dave. You said you guys quarreled. What <laughs> is it about? Cyber sex. That's what it's about. Cyber what? Yes, cyber sex. And he's been asking me this for a while now. He said that is the next big step in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Is that guy crazy? Uh, so, so what? So, I'm thinking that I'm going to throw caution to the wind, let go of my inhibitions, and give it a try. I mean, if what he means by next big step is marriage, then why not? Why not? You're not going to do that, Vicky. Um. <laughs> but then, doing a cyber sex wouldn't bring that. Hey, darling, how you doing? I'm fine, dear. So? I've been thinking about what you said, and can we do a video chat? All right then. Bring it on. Okay then. <laughs> hey. So, do you like what you see? I don't just like it, I love it. Really? So, I was thinking. What if I do? <laughs> A couple of things, you know, just get the ball rolling. Hmm? Like this, like that. Wow. <laughs> and, even better, why don't I? Mm. Just a second. You know, <laughs> so I'll just, um, you know, take off my clothes. How would you like that? Hmm? You like that, right? Yeah. All right, then. Hold on. Go ahead and wait. Okay, so here it is. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Cyril Chinitu is coming from Lagos. Onoha Oweri and Mr. Augustine are from, coming from Abuja. I think the other team is over here. And, um, go ahead. Oh no, no, just um, go ahead. Go ahead, take a call. Thank you, sir. I said hello, I can barely hear you. Just can you speak about something? The network is, is, is breaking. Sorry? Look, 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 look. I, I need to go back to the office. I, I honestly do not find it funny when strangers call me pet names, so if you can just get straight to the point. Wait, wait. Dave? Dave, is that you? Hello? Is this a roaming call? No. Wait, you need to tell me that you came back and you didn't tell me. You didn't let me. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, no problem. Fine, no problem. When we see, we are going to try it out together, okay? Once I get, get out of the office, I'll come and see you. I can't wait to see you. I miss you too. <laughs> I have to get back. Why? I have to get back. <laughs> Fiance, I had no idea he was in the country. I guess he wanted to surprise me. Sorry for the interruption. Really? Yes, sir. You mean you are engaged and no one knows? Or am I the last person to hear this? No. Well, not really. It's it's not official yet, so not really. Yes. I see. Yes, sir. Yeah, but um, now that he's back, um, I'm hoping that we can make it official, you know, and then tell the whole world. You know? That will be nice. That will be nice. That's uh, okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... It's that okay. That will be all for now. I mean, you should take your time. Talk to him more on the phone or probably go visit him. What, are you serious? Yes. <gasps> You're the best boss. You're the best boss. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, yes, sweetheart. I just, I wanted to surprise you. Yeah, I can't wait to see you, you know. How fast can you come here? Yeah, I lodged in the hotel at the moment. Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting. <laughs> You look good. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, you do not look bad either. I'm shy. Well, <laughs> that's so sweet, huh? You're welcome. My darling. Mm -hmm. I've been longing to have you in my arms and do all those things I was not able to do on those videos, you know? Things like... Things like... Things like...
sorry. Sweetheart, what's the problem? Nothing. Did I miss something? Mm. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I, can't, I can't pretend I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I ruined the surprise. I'm sorry. A surprise? Yes, I know. I don't get it. What surprise? I saw it. I saw my wedding and engagement ring. Oh my god. Well, curiosity is what kills the cats. Meets Victoria. In case I really surprised. Well, Mr. Dave, please don't punish me. Well, Miss Victoria, your crime deserves to be punished. Mm. Or don't I have the kind of punishment? for you. What would that be? Well, would that like, be? like, like, you know. <laughs> I'm telling you that you cannot guess. <laughs> you can't guess what I'm, what I'm about to say. Okay. What is it? Ada. Then when I get married! <laughs> Wow, this is amazing. I mean, I can't believe it. I told you it was going to happen. I told you it was going to happen, but you didn't believe me. Although, I ruined the surprise by stumbling upon the rings, but hey, will you get to marry me? Okay, okay, marry okay, me? okay. Where is the engagement ring? Show me, show me, show me, baby girl. The ring? Yes, of course. The engagement ring you happen to burn. Where is your engagement ring, madame? Why are you not wearing it? Don't tell me you're tired already like most of us. <laughs> no! Dave hasn't officially proposed yet, so he doesn't know that I know him. You're not even supposed to know, but I'm telling him because you're my friend. He hasn't? No! I mean, yes! No. What I'm trying to say is that he's going to eventually propose to me. In fact, he's planning a surprise engagement party for me once he gets back from the East after going to see his parents. Oh, I see. Yes! Uh, duh! <laughs> ah, man, I knew this was going to happen, but you didn't believe me. My words mm -hmm. always come to pass. I said it before my 35th, I was going to get married. And now, ah, it's about to happen. Yeah. Don't test me. My words. My words. They come to pass. <laughs> they come to pass. Oh, oh Vicky, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, baby girl. Oh, very soon. <laughs> anyway, I go, ah, oh, good afternoon. <laughs> Everywhere I go, just oh, madam, like, good afternoon. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to have you back, boss. Like, everyone has missed your imposing presence, especially <laughs> this desk of yours. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. And I know that you, you wouldn't let me slack one bit. It's back to the grindstone immediately. Absolutely. I mean, far be it from me that the world's greatest CEO should slack in his duties while I'm still here. No. <laughs> it feels good to be back with me, Victoria. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And as usual, if nothing else, uh, have you boss me around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Um, so tell me, how was your cousin's wedding? Oh, it went well. What a beautiful outing. And they secreted this um, opportunity for the whole family to get to see each other again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine. I can imagine. I don't know. You can just take a look at the pictures here. Oh, wow. Um, this, <laughs> Oh wow. Yes. Sir? Yes. Please um who's this guy um stand standing close to that woman? This this man here. This one. That's that's Dave, my cousin's husband. Yes, he got back from um, the US. I really don't like um, the U.S. arrangement, but uh, the good thing is that he's returning back with my cousin. You know, <laughs> my cousin is a, a nurse. The young man just uh, got himself a, a machine, a monumental machine. You know what that means. Are you okay? Hello, Victoria, Vicky. Hi. Hi. 
like to? How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, checking out. Okay. Okay, I... okay just have this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Hey! Oh, Victoria, how are you? So it's true. How am I? So it is true. You were going to leave without even saying goodbye? Oh my God. What kind of person are you? Vicky, I truly wanted to avoid this at work situation. What? So what I hear is true. I heard you got married. So the rings, they weren't for me. How, how? I Your mean... bride's cousin is my boss. Small world, in it. Victoria, I'm so sorry. You see? I even wanted you to find out. How exactly did you want me to find out? Really? How did you? On your Facebook status, from single to married? Or what? To hear that you absconded by someone saying goodbye? How could you do that to me? You made me believe oh, that Victoria, that's... I never promise you any marriage. Wow. You're just assuming everything. I am assuming? Oh, yes. But I was good to you. I was good to you. I treated you well. Was I not good enough? What are you talking about? You're making me feel so guilty. You should. Actually, Victoria, you're just a wonderful person. <laughs> you are good. Really? For someone like you in the US, of your age, you're just a high risk when you get pregnant. Love I just you. wanted to get married to someone who is more productive. Mm. Just look at the age difference. You are 35, I'm just 30. Damn it. What are you talking about? So when you say productive, I'm assuming you mean a nurse? I'm afraid, yes. A nurse, yes. Yeah. The man that's going to get married to you is going to be a lucky dude, and you know it. I know it. I know it. It's not just you, right? Huh? I'm afraid I'm... I'm not. I'm sorry, Vicky. I'm sorry. Okay. Just go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll touch you. Don't touch me. What are you looking at? That's what he said to me. He said that in the US, women my age are considered high risks when or if they get pregnant. Hmm. Permit me to say this, Victoria. That your Dave is a cruel son of a bitch. He didn't have to say that to you. I mean, what guy gets married to a woman because of the money he will make out of her? Is that one a guy? You know, when I think of all those things that I did on the video chats with him, with the high hopes that... Hmm. I was hoping that it would make him fall in love with me, that he would realize that I was the woman for him, that I love him and he's in love with me. I mean, Ada, Ada, ah, I, I literally turned myself into a prostitute for this guy. I'm so sorry, girlfriend, but then when it comes to love, you don't need to do anything. <laughs> you don't need to sacrifice your principle or change. <laughs> You're simply loved for who you are. <laughs> mm -mm. That one has not happened to me before. It hasn't. And that's why I've come to the conclusion that there must be something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Victoria Phillips, mm -hmm. what on earth do you mean by that? I mean that it's very possible that there's a curse hanging over Victoria's head. 
Maybe there's a there's a there's a relative somewhere who is very offended and has sworn that I will never get married. Yes. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh my Such things happen. Has it gotten to that? Yes. It has. And that's why I have to explore every possibility. All my siblings are married. I'm the only one who is unmarried. Something is wrong. I need a difference. You what? My daughter, God truly destined you to be the first to get married in your father's house. Sorry. According to God's plan, by now, you should have had children that is up to the age of entering the university. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Hmm. He said, you have a spiritual husband. Spirit what? Yes, my daughter. And you need to come for your deliverance. God said you need to be delivered from the bondage of your spiritual husband. Yes, I Deliver me. Deliver me. That's why I'm here. Please. And God said, He's the one that turned the man that comes to your way against you. Mm. Mm. Oh, Zion. Zion. Come. Come. Mm. My daughter. Oh, Miss Zion. You need to make haste. Or else, the next man that will come into your life will meet his doom. Mm. I mean, he will die. Ah, oh, Miss Zion, no. You can't <laughs> let that happen. You can't. Help your daughter, please. Help your daughter. I will. My daughter, Mommy. if you don't want to die, you have to come for deliverance. Okay. But first, you have to sow a seed. Okay. And your seed will be proportionate according to how you want your miracle. Ah. Don't worry about it. Mommy, I will do it. I will do it. <laughs> Jeez. Holy! Oh. Don't worry. You don't have a problem. Once you sow that seed, I will make sure that your spiritual husband lets you lose of you. He has to let you go. Bless you with this. Gosh. Zion, every spirit of marital delay. Mm. I cast you out from her body. Mm. Mm. Every spirit of spiritual husband. Mm. Mm. Leave that young woman. Mm. Leave her alone. Mm. So she can enter into her own house. Mm. I cast you in the name mm. of Jesus. Mm. Leave her. Mm. 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 Oh, God, Jesus. Mm. Wherever you come from, mm. from the deep sea, I send you back from that place. Mm. You don't have a place in her body. Mm. 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 Let her be. Mm. Let her have her own physical husband, mm. her own earthly husband. Mm. You don't have any reason to be in her life. Mm. I cast you out of her body mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Every mask mm. that they've put in your face, I take it out mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. My daughter, mm. you're free. You're free. Mm. Yes, I am. <sighs> take it all this sort.
You say I couldn't look away the moment I caught sight of you from there. You oh. See, um, there is something special about you, and I will not forgive myself if I had left this place without coming to meet you. Um. Okay, now that you've met me, can I continue with my shopping in peace and quiet? Yes, sure you will, but... Thank oh, you. sorry, sorry, sorry. Please, you will, but before you do, can we just introduce ourselves? Fine. All right, then. my name is Elijah. Okay. Yeah, I know it sounds old-fashioned. Blame it on my pastor father. He gave me the name Elijah because he wants me to follow his footsteps. You know how our parents behave. <laughs> As in Elijah, man of fire. <laughs> I understand, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my pastor father gave me that name. So, what's the name? Well, my name, Mr. Elijah, pastor in the making, mm. is Victoria, but you may call me Vicky for sure. Victoria, mm -hmm. you know that sounds old-fashioned, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm just kidding, okay? Um, Victoria, don't you think we should hang out, like have one or two drinks, you know, so we can be able to know each other more? I don't know about that, because these days, just hanging out with a stranger is really... You know, you just can never say who is insane or crazy or anything like that. So. I understand, right? I understand. Especially the, the, the whole thing that has been happening in the country. Yeah. But I want to make it clear to you. Out of the thousands of people in this part of the world, mm -hmm. there is always this one special good person that is out there. And that person might just be standing in front of you. And that person is you. You say so. <laughs> so, um, are you done with your shopping? Yes, I am. Okay, well, why don't you go over there? Although, I don't mind you saying it over and over again. <laughs> My name is Jackie. No, but seriously, you are really beautiful. I don't know how come the men around you haven't noticed it. Like, are they blind or something? Yeah. But I, I thank the almighty creator for making them blind. <laughs> yes, at least I wouldn't have met you still single. <laughs> What are you saying? Are you saying that it's okay for a lady my age to be still single? 
Mm. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. And um, I have made up my mind to change your status as soon as possible. Are you saying what I think? I think you're saying. But we just, we've just known each other for two weeks. We've, isn't that a bit sudden? <sighs> Victoria. Uh, I am afraid. Are, are you okay? I am hugely in love. you to be the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. I love you so much. Please say yes. Please. Please my love. Just say just say yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you. So, um, let's have a toast. Okay. Let's have a toast. All right. Thank God you finally had the time to hang out with me. So I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you for forgiving me. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. It wasn't it wasn't intentional. I mean, what with the night vigils, the prayers, it was uh, just trying to put my life together. But you know, it's kind of paid off. Uh -huh. Paid off how? Well, I mean, Vicky. I'm just say like. Is yeah. there something you're not telling me? It's not really, I mean, if I'm going to say good afternoon to you, or good afternoon to you, good afternoon, you know, it really doesn't matter. Hey, prepare! Wow, this is a wonderful news! Yes. Wow! Come on, how did it happen? When? How? It's just been an amazing, amazing path with Elijah. He, he proposed. He asked me to marry him. Elijah? Yes, his name is Elijah. I know, right? That was my exact reaction when I heard his name too. I mean, mm. his father is a pastor. His father is a general overseer, like oh. a G.O. And that Christian part of him always comes to play in everything that we do. We, he will make sure that we pray before we go to bed at night. Oh no, you don't say. I say, oh. yes, I say, oh. like, Ada. Uh, mm. I'm in love. Like, this guy has swept me off my feet. You should be he spends money and gifts. I just, he swept me off my feet. I think he's the one. He's definitely the one. I'm happy for you, thank right? You, thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, man. this calls for celebration. <laughs> Bad <laughs> man, please get us drinks. Oh, this calls for celebration. Drinks. Meanwhile, so tell me, when am I going to meet my son to be in love? Well,
guy's in trouble. Very big trouble, you know that. Don't tell me what happened. Don't tell me. You always do that. <laughs> but really, I. Mm. <laughs> you don't even know. What mm. <laughs> it's alright then. Let's mute and continue watching them. Mm. Ah. What happened? What happened? What happened? But do you know? Don't. Oh, God, really? It's okay. Let me use myself. Oh my God. That guy is. Stop! That guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is Why do I have these feelings that you are very upset with me? I'm not upset, oh. Who am I to be upset? I mean, I wasn't planning to pick your call. I wasn't snooping on you. It just happened. And besides, she's going to be my mother, you know, isn't she? Of course. So, so yeah, why are you. <sighs> she's my mother after all. Anyways, pardon my manners. I mean, the way I snatched the phone out of your hands. <sighs> I thought you were going to pick up the call. My mother wouldn't find it funny hearing a woman's voice. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're a grown man, not an eight-year-old. Go and tell my pious mommy and my general overseer of a dad that. See if you want to get an earful on the evils of fornication. Especially my mom that likes quoting 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 Abstain from sexual immorality Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit well, Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit But that's not the point The point is that I think it's high time that you made a date for us to meet them officially Meet who? The president of South Africa Your parents of course I mean, this is weird. Do you realize that I don't even know where you live? I don't know where you live, Elijah. That is weird. You say, sweet, you just made a point, okay? You just made a point. But you must also know, I have always ended up here in your house, okay? I, I mean, it is more conducive here for us. Our privacy matters a lot. You remember I told you my mother's brother and his family have been squatting at my place for the moment. Yeah, about that. So you're saying that your uncle is still at your place and has no intention to leave at any time soon, ever. Does that mean that when we get married, we're not moving into your house? I hope we're not staying here in my apartment. I mean, it's not like there's anything wrong with it, it's just that like any real bride, I've dreamt of moving to my husband's house after we get married. That's all. 
spirit. I understand you perfectly well. Okay? Listen, I promise I am going to make it up to you. Okay? Come on now. Smile for me. You know your smiles gives me joy. Countless joy. Okay? You mean everything to me. This world. Come on. I'm still angry. Let me go. I'm still angry with you. I know you are. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. of nowadays. I kept him here to look after my property and now he's nowhere to be found. Even his number is switched off. David! nowadays. How can I employ someone to look after my property and now he's nowhere to be found? Even his number is switched off. What is wrong with these people? This is the same reason why Mr. President says that the youth of nowadays are lazy. Oh my goodness. I've been asking you what's wrong, what's wrong. You've been quiet and moody. Is that why you're upset? Calm down. Now are you ready to talk? When you said property, what did you mean? Okay, my love, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier on. Where we just went to, mm -hmm. I own that property. That very mansion you saw, the uncompleted building, I own it. Okay? It was supposed to be a surprise after our marriage. But I had to come show you the place because of what you were saying the other day. You see, that house is where you and I is going to live after our marriage. Yes, my love. Ah! <laughs> I love her. Sorry, 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 I'm sorry. I'm always there. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go back. Let's go no, back no, no, now. No, my love, I have somewhere to to go to have a meeting to catch up. Okay. Don't worry. In the middle of next week, you and I will go back there. Okay? Oh my god! I'm going to catch up. Oh my god! My bedroom. The bedroom will be close to the kitchen too because I want to make something really nice at night. Or just with ice cream and some green you know. Oh my god! It's so big! Yes. Ah, I'm basically for a king and a queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. So just tell me, how long will it take you to deliver? Um, 
um, as soon as you pay in the money, yeah, I'll deliver you. Okay. How long? I want to know. Okay, let me see. Within two weeks, I'll about. Are you sure you can deliver in two weeks? Yeah, you, need you, the money, yeah, yeah. you see, I don't want to be disappointed again. I've been disappointed before. I don't really? want to repeat of it. No, just count on me. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, first thing tomorrow morning, you'll get the money. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Welcome to the Elijah is the love of my life. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy for you. You look so beautiful and in love. I am so happy for you, Victoria. Yeah. And uh, Elijah, this is my sister, my best in my everything. Wow. And here is her husband. Yeah. I can really see that you both cannot wait to be together. <laughs> so have you picked any date yet? Um. Well, uh, no, we're thinking... Yes. yes. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, actually, you see, I haven't told Victoria yet, okay. but I plan to marry her on her birthday. Wow! <laughs> this is great! So great! <gasps> oh, what? Wow. My, birth, my, birth, my birth is in two weeks. I know, my What takes two weeks to plan a wedding? Um... Baby, I have been planning. You see, I have always wanted it to be a surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. You're crazy. So <laughs> oh my god. Wow. See, you know what? Um, Elida, don't hesitate to call on me if you need any assistance yeah. in this your surprise wedding. I will support you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel. Yeah, of course, we will definitely carry you along throughout the whole process. You have to. Yes, you have to. Right? I agree. You're cool. It's calling you. Sir. Ah! Mommy. Mommy one. Yes. Hey, you can see it. It's okay. Sorry, um, where is your convenience? Oh, that's just by your right. Okay, um, yeah. honey, please, just one, one minute. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, this is the so beautiful. You, you, have okay? a mm. you have a handsome husband here. Yeah. Very handsome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's, it's just that um, two weeks is not, um, it's not ample time to for a wedding. What? You already said you were handling it. But he said he's been planning. Yeah. So relax, he's planning. Yeah. Well, what's your 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 press? Uh, okay. okay. Yes. Oh, I am so happy for her. I am happy. I can't wait to see your sister get married. She has been waiting for this moment. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? What? Listen. Haven't I told you severally to stop calling me whenever I am on a business trip? Okay, what is it this time? What? If Junior has malaria, then take him to the hospital. Yes! Am, am I a doctor? Okay, 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 listen. Take him to the hospital. I am going to transfer some money to you. Am I understood? Standing there? Not for long. Just 
At least give me now. Oh, okay. It's okay. Are you sure everything is okay? Yes, everything every, everything is alright. Because I overheard you giving a curt goodbye to whoever it was. Is it your mom? Are you fighting your mom because of me? No, 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 not really. So, you say, sweet. I have told you separately that my mom will definitely fall in love with you when she meets you. Okay? Sweetest thing in my life right now, and I don't want it to come to an end anytime soon. Wait, 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 wait. It was going so well. It was going so well until you said, in my life right now. What do you mean right now? Okay, I meant you are the sweetest thing that has happened or ever happened to me. And I don't want it in any way to come to an end. Better. You feel good now? Yes, thank you very you much. You are so troublesome. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you're so troublesome. That's why you love me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you can say that to me. Oh, my love, let me use the toilet. No, no, I'm enjoying this. I know you are. Come on, just a minute. I'll be back. Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Alright, count it. One, two, two. 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 You're, you're fast, you're fast. you Elijah. I know it's because of that prostitute concubine of yours that you asked me to stop calling you when you're on a business trip. Business trip. Business trip. Business trip my foot. You have neglected me and our sick son because of her and I swear that husband snatcher. Secrets, should we? I don't know what you're talking about. Can I have my phone, please? You want your phone? There's your phone. Get your phone. And while you're at it, kindly let me know who Mommy One is and what she means by our sick son. Your son, I presume? Victoria, please calm your nerves, okay? Please, calm your nerves. I am calm. I am calm! I just want you to explain to me what is going on. Please tell me that what she said in that message is not true. Tell me. 
Tell me. Answer me! V Victoria, please. Uh, oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. I have a son. I have a son with her, okay? But it's not what you think. It's not what you think, please. I... I can't explain. What exactly do you want to explain? Huh? That you are a married man with a sick son. You are a married man. Jesus. How can you be so callous? How can you... How can you, you deceive me? How can you do this to me? Oh God. Victoria. 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 Baby. I want you to leave. I want you to pack your belongings, everything that belongs to you, and leave my house. Do not ever return here. I know how you feel, Victoria. No, you don't. I do. I do. I to leave my house. Victoria. I really do know how you feel, okay? I am so sorry about everything that has happened. I'm so sorry. Please. I know right now, you must think I am the worst thing since the creation of the devil. Yes. Oh. Victoria, I know right now you feel like piercing a dagger through my heart. Elijah. I am sorry, but that won't change anything. <laughs> Please, give me the chance to explain everything to you. To explain what exactly? That you are one of those married men who like to keep side chicks, isn't it? Who like to have pleasure on the side without caring whose heart gets broken? What do you want to explain? It is not like that, Vicky. And how is it? How is it? Victoria, I am not married. <laughs> I swear on my mother's life, I am not married. I am not. That woman is just someone who had a child for me. That's all. Yes. And she was the worst mistake I ever made in this life. She was the worst mistake I have ever made in this life. She has been taking advantage of it simply because I got her pregnant. I am so sorry. Please. Please, well, if, if that is the truth, why didn't you tell me? Why, why would you wait for me to find out like this? I was afraid, baby. I was afraid. No. I was. I thought if I had told you I had a baby mama who is so possessive, Refusing to give me breathing space, I thought I would, I would lose you and I don't want to lose you for anything. I don't want to lose you for any reason. I'm so sorry. Victoria, you mean the whole world to me. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me my whole life, I promise. 
I will never hide anything from you. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I love you so much. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Sonia, what are you doing here and how did you know I'm here? What am I doing here? What else? Following you around my darling and behold my suspicions have been proved correct. <laughs> so this is the stupid business with Elijah. Eh, I beg your pardon. Darling, honey, do you know this obnoxious lady? <laughs> what? Why try to know me? You home wrecking slut. I am his wife, okay? I am the woman who snatched her husband away from her side all these days. Because of you, my son was laid in the hospital for five days without his father giving a damn. Please, get a grip, young lady. I know Elijah is not mine because he told me so, okay? You're his baby mama and you should be ashamed of yourself. Where is your dignity? Oh. Chase never a man who does not love you, right? Oh, is that what he told you? Yes, and I That I'm his baby mama? Yes. If that is so, who put this wedding ring on my finger? <laughs> or do you want to see our wedding pictures? Oh, please. Both traditional and formal so that you can be convinced. What ring? Anybody can buy any ring, right? Right? Or will you stop pretending you shameless desperado? I know your type very well. I know you wouldn't blink at answering the second wife. So as long as you are married. Well, your plans have failed because you will not snatch away my husband and live to tell the story. Point like me, young lady. What is she talking about? Why is she so confident? What is she talking about? Sonia, you need to stop this madness. Tell her. This moment. Here, the madness has just entered full swing. By the time I am done with both of you, you will know not to mess with Sonia. Oh, yeah, boys, do your job. Boys, do your job. Awesome. Come here. Oh. Grab this thing. Grab this thing. Thank God you're okay there. The doctor said apart from the bruises and swelling that there are no damages. Kai, I swear, the kind of thunder that we fired our daughter <laughs> Elijah, sorry, <laughs> and his stupid wife, is still got every moment to. Guys, let's tell ourselves the truth. That woman did what any other woman would do. And you would do the same if you're in her shoes. I mean, which woman wants to lose her marriage to another? The only person to blame here is Elijah. I'm so sorry, girlfriend. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you have to be humiliated this way. Men are wicked. I mean, how can a man go to such extent just to win the heart of a woman? Oh, Come to think of it, as in, why would a man neglect his own family? I mean, his own blood and sick son just to have an affair? God! And you know the worst part? <laughs>
Alex, please hold on, I'm coming. I'd like to um, apologize because I realized that the two weeks I asked for have been well spent and I'm taking more time than necessary. But I promise that once I resume work, I will make it up to you, sir. Relax, Miss Victoria. That's not the reason I'm here, right? It's not? Yes, actually, I heard what happened, and I understand why you have taken that time off. And I am willing to give you more time if need be. Wow, sir, that's, that's really thoughtful. It's, it's really kind of you. But, Victoria, I think you need to snap out of it. What? You heard me. Vicky, you can't lock up yourself and wallow in self-pity. You can get depressed and maybe kill yourself over a wordless guy. No. Not when there are pending work to be done at the office. Sir, I really don't... You, you can't be serious. And I have never been this serious before. That is why I came myself to tell you that I am no longer willing to give you more time off. And what if I refuse? Well, I am not willing to lose the services of my best employee. A friend of that. So that is why I came to bribe you with the invitation of a lunch date. I am not taking it no for an answer, got it? Glad I did. So at the end of the month, I will knock off some amount from your salary for my services. <laughs> In fact, may I suggest that you withdraw it from the bonus you owe me, sir? Bet me I will. So am I to take it that you shall grace us with your lovely presence come Monday morning? Absolutely, sir. In fact, try and stop me. <laughs> I'll be at the office, sir. That's the spirit. Then I will postpone the discussion of the new contracts I'm looking into for your Monday. I, 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 and here I was thinking that this bout of good Samaritanism was about me. And all the time it was about work. <laughs> you should have known me by now that I don't involve in anything that is not profitable. You are important to me. Okay, My company needs your intellectual ways to survive. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go on telling you how important you are to the company <laughs> and everything? No, boss, it's fine. I get the picture already. Um, like I said, I will be at the office. Definitely will be at the office. I understand. Just to be sure that there is not going to be any disappearing acts. No. No more. Okay. Girl Scout honor. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. 
Sorry. Thank you, boss. Really. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to cater to me, to lift my spirits. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, that's my talk. Uh, go down to the bar with drinks. Something, something light. <laughs> it's a call, boss. You don't want to spend any money. All right. Um, shall we? Twenty-two days before my birthday, and I'm still single. I'm not even in, in a relationship. I'm not even close to being in one. No, 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 no. I refuse to be defeated. I refuse it. My miracle husband. <laughs> my miracle husband will locate me. Ah, he must surely locate me. God no, and please, if you are really, really God, at least find me a, a relationship, eh? or even, even if I'm, I'm engaged to be married before my birthday, please do something, Rescued the other day from those talk at the vengeful woman, aren't you? Look, I don't know what garbage you're talking about, okay? I don't even know I'm mean standing here listening to this. Hey, young gun lady, I know you're the lady from the other day. Anyway, I'm sorry for embarrassing you by reminding you of something you want to forget. I just wanted to know you're alright. I'm alright, okay? Is that okay now? Happy? Nothing like a permanent damage, as you can see. I'm good. You men are the same. Carlos and I'm carrying. You're wrong, lady. Listen to me. If I were to be like the young man that hurt you, I wouldn't have taken you to the hospital. I mean, neither would I have called your family members before leaving. Look, the least I wanted to know was to find out if you did not sustain any permanent damage from that beating. Fine. I'm um, okay. Nothing like a permanent damage, as you can see. It's okay, um, but one more thing. What um, is it? May I know your name, please? Okay, okay, fine. My name is Roy. I'm an Uber driver. So I'm just wondering if I can take you somewhere you're going anywhere. No, thank you, Mr. Roy. I already have a cab waiting. Um, but still, here's my card. You might need me someday. I mean, if you need me to take you somewhere or anywhere, you know what I mean? Thank you, Mr. Roy. I'll keep your card. And uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for helping me out the last time. It was kind of you. It's okay, pretty. All right. Okay. Right. It's okay. Um, helping damsels in distress is my specialty. You just have to spoil the entire conversation by saying that. Ouch. <laughs> All right, baby, like I said, helping damsels in distress is my specialty, baby. Hey, I'm calling my husband. Father, you said that before I call you, you answer. Ah, not I call you. South, east, west. Oh, yeah. Deliver my husband to you. Any snake to me. Any snake that has swallowed my husband from the north, south, east, west. Ah, Gabaya. Begin to vomit it now. Vomit it now. Vomit it now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, before my 35th birthday, I must marry. Father, whether it's Mr. Right or Mr. Wrong, whether it's rich or poor, I receive. I receive. I man to receive. My husband, I receive. In the name of Jesus. Good 
Good morning, pretty. Surprise? Come on, let's go. to a frown. Don't you think it's too early in the day for jokes? Mm, I'm sorry. I was just thinking you needed something to brighten up your mood. You know what? What? You are very attractive. I know men will be running over themselves just to have you. That's if you keep smiling all the time. You know what? What? I take an exception. I am riding her home, okay? Yeah, that's okay, but I think we should allow Miss Victoria to decide who takes her home. Do you know this guy? I was thinking that I, I, um, the, the, the other documents, like if you take this. Yes, I, I recognize him now. <laughs> yes, um, he's been there. Um, the, Guy who's been taking me around for a while. He's been there for me. Okay, alright. Um, so that's um, a good bye. I'll we'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you pick up the files. Okay, okay boss. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Ooh, that's your boss? Seriously? That's my boss. Oh, I see. Your boss. Uh, but the way he's reacting, it seems like you both have something in common. Are you kidding me right now? That's my boss. Nothing could ever happen between myself and my boss, okay? It's strictly business. <laughs> Just... I don't even know this is you right now. Miss Victoria. Yes? I must say you're very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But considering that, no. My boss is into women way more sophisticated than myself. So can we go now? It's okay. Yes. Alright. Get into the car, let's go. Let me help you. And he was the one who saved me from Elijah's wife's dogs the other time. You don't say. Mm -hmm. I thought you were still nursing a broken heart. <sighs> I don't understand how easy it is for you to start a new relationship almost immediately. Don't tell me you're in love with this royal of a guy. Love. <laughs> really? Although, of course, love is going to blossom between him and I at some point, but let's keep our eyes on the goal. This relationship must end in marriage. It has to lead to marriage. Victoria. What? 
Are you still on with this your marriage issue? I thought you're done with it already. I thought you, you, you're done with this, your silly idea of getting married before you clock 35. And why would you think that? Did I say that? As a matter of fact, I have decided to let Roy know that it's either marriage or nothing. Vicky, don't tell me you're going to propose to this guy yourself. Why not? If that's what it takes, why not? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I know this kind of thing happens over there in the Western world. Mm -hmm. But not here, baby girl. Besides, you said he's an ordinary taxi driver. What if he's not ready for marriage yet? I don't see how that's a problem. Maybe it's my taxi driver, not your own. Look, it's my ordinary taxi driver, not your own. Girl, come on, why are we even having this conversation? Look, I've been a working girl my whole life and I have enough money to share with anyone. Yes. Besides, if he's willing to get married to me, then I will share my money with him. It's that simple. Really? Why are you looking at me like that? Victoria, really? Because of heartbreak. Oh. oh. Heartbreak. Cool. You said to me, my daughter, when you get home, write your name and your lover's name in that paper. Draw a circle. Sleep inside the bottle. Yes. Mm. And bury it. Before you bury it. So, the destiny of your love will die forever. Your soul and the destiny of your love is tied there forever. As long as the bottle remains in the ground. brand new car a friend of mine wants to sell for 1.2 million mm -hmm. very lovely car so if i had 1.2 million i'll just buy it register it for with oba mm -hmm. and then that way i can be making money from my taxi and the oba what do you think oh wow that's a brilliant idea chai so you don't have 1.2 million <laughs> my love no i don't yeah. Uh, if I had the money, I would have bought it immediately. I saw it. Oh. Okay, I guess you just have to wait for the next opportunity now. Mm -hmm. By that time, you would have saved enough money. Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. sure, sure. I'll have to wait. Um, oh, why don't you borrow me the money? I could pay back once I start getting influence. Eh? Hey. Yeah. Ah, but I mean, I cannot, I can't borrow my baby money. I mean, and then ask him to pay me back. If it somehow. You understand? It's not. It's not. It's not real. <laughs> it's okay. You know, I wouldn't want you to start thinking I'm after your money. I know. You know, I'm not like that, look. I know. I'm a real man. Mm -hmm. I am my kid. I know, really. Sure, baby. I do. I do. And you know, that's what I've been thinking. Eh? I've been thinking maybe it's high time that we 
formalize things between us, you understand? You don't go and see my people, do the needful, you know, that way I'm more convinced that by working together for a strong financial front for our, our home. Wow. You understand? What? Mm -hmm. You're such a smart girl. No. Do you know I was eventually going to ask you to marry me? No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I'm getting married to a very brilliant, intelligent, pretty damsel. Uh, I love you. Uh, God will bless this marriage. It is always said that what God has put together, let no man will touch him. Exactly. Yes. No power will touch this marriage. God will bless you with my children. Bless you with female children. Exceptional children. Children that will be outstanding among the peers. And God will supply your needs to feed the children. Yeah? Yes. It will lead you wherever you go. You shall remain blessed and ever blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It's okay. Anything for you, baby. Thank you. Since I want a grand wedding, mm -hmm. so I might as well plan big. Anyway, so we need to contact the caterers right away, the event planning guys, and also the guys doing the decor. And we need to start making payments in order for us to secure this book, you know. That's true. Yeah. You know, um, babe, I've been thinking, okay. you know, talking about payment. Mm. Um, it's high time you make me a signatory to your account. Mm. You know, and by so doing, it will help me in organizing and assisting to. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say? I said you can make me a signatory to your account. Did you just say I should make you a signatory to my Yes. Account? Wait, do you have a problem with that? I mean, it's the least you could do, considering the fact that I took you off your shelves. You should at least reciprocate. Come on, Vicky, soon we're going to become husband and wife.
Roy. Roy, please wake up. Tria, what is it? What is going on? Look at the entire house. Look at the living room. It's in such disarray. Again? You can't expect me to come back from work a long day at the office, come and clean up after you. It's not fair. Why are you sit at home and do nothing? Ah. Victoria, you're serious. You expect me to wash the dishes? And help me out with some house chores. It will not kill you. Since these days you don't want to go out and go and look for a job. You want to stay at home and do nothing. You might as well just help me out with some things. It's not fair. Are you and stupid? I'm just saying, since you don't want to go to work or find something... Will you shut up? up? Will, will you shut up? How dare you? Now listen to me, woman. I may have paid your bride price with your money, woman. But I will not allow you to treat me like your houseboy. I am your husband. So you should wash. You should clean after me and not the other way around. Do you understand? Roy! Will you shut up? I will not take this rubbish next time. <laughs> rubbish! Next time you try this, you regret it. Out of your mind. Rubbish! Okay, fine then. Um, make sure to forward the mail to me and copy the boss. Please remember this time, okay? Thank you. It's everything right, Miss Victoria. Yes, boss. So, how come instead of the sparkles and radiance that are visibly evident in new bride's eyes? Emergency to attend to. Please. please. I suppose this has to do with your husband, not so. Yes, 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 yes. I have to go. I have to leave. I have to go. to your account. Were you expecting me to just sit down and be admiring your account balance? Hey, God. But, but Roy, that's not the point. That's not the point. Okay, now tell me. Tell me, my intelligent one, what is the point? The point is, we could have discussed this as man and wife. I mean, three million now. We're not saying three naira or three hundred naira or three thousand naira. It's three million oh, naira. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> you want me to explain, right? No, no, no. You, you, you're questioning me. It's a question and answer section, isn't it? Okay, fine. Wait, wait, fine. Now listen to me. I used the money to buy a viable land, which, which I felt it, it was very affordable considering the location. I wanted to tell you as a surprise. I didn't know you would come back ranting and making noise because of three million naira. Okay, wait. Land. Here is the paper. That's the paper. Go ahead and look at it. Land in your own name. Damn right in my own name. In my name, Victoria. You want to know why? 
This okay, is... fine, fine. I made it in my name because I am your husband. I am very sure that if I were to be the owner of this money, you wouldn't question you, you won't question my decision to own a property in my name, would you? I do not blame you. You know what, Victoria? I do not blame you. I blame myself for getting into this stupid relationship in the first place. Damn it! So tell me, girlfriend, how does it feel to be Miss Somebody? Hmm. Honestly, well, you know, it's this, um, there's, there's nothing like, you know, just. The truth. Of course. It's exhausting. Oh my god, Vicky. I don't like that. Is there any problem? What happened? You know, at this point, I feel like this marriage thing, marriage, 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 the whole thing is overrated. I mean, I, I, I haven't even done the wedding proper and I already feel this stretched out. Vicky, tell me the truth. Is there any problem between you and Roy? Are you guys having issues already? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you know, I honestly don't know what the problem is. Honestly, don't know what the problem is. Whether it's myself or it's him. But well, one thing I know for sure. If this is what marriage is about, ah, I'd rather be single. I rebuke you from saying that. You can't be single. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> right! Are you back? No! Get out of the office! Sorry. I really don't understand you. I don't understand you. What have I not given to you, huh? If you ask for my blood, I will give it to you. How could you, how could you bring that girl into our house? Into our bedroom. How? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. But if you, if you must know, it's entirely your fault. Oh, God. It's typical. It's typical of a man to blame a woman for all his problems. So now you accuse me of being the cause of your infidelity? Yes, I accuse you. I accuse you, Victoria, because it's true. All you have done is to give me problems, quarreling, nagging, since I paid your bride price. Victoria, I am a man. I have needs. Needs that you were too busy to meet. I had no choice than to get someone to, to calm my nerves. Is that so? Yes. I was too busy. Damn right it is. All you wanted was a husband. And I married you. And that is that. So I have every right to live my life the way I want it. Reminding me how how lucky I am or how favored I am because you 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 got married to me and you 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 took me off the shelves and you married me and you do blah 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 blah. I am done. 
You hear me? I am dumb. I am so dumb. Um, 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 Victoria, you're not serious. Um, oh! On the contrary! I am dead serious. Very serious. I'm going to get your things and you're going to leave my house and never, ever return to my house. I'm done. No, you, 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 you can't be serious. No, 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 this, this is not... Get your filthy rights because I'm... What are you doing? doing? God, thank God. No, 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 that's it. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm so done. To think that I want to do a society with me. What a life of other time to spend my life with you. Victory, what are you doing? I am doing? done with you. I am done. Stop it. Don't you dare me. You will what? What will you, huh? Tell me! What will you do? The last time it was error on my part. This time, I swear to God, if you try any nonsense, you will spend the rest of your life in Kirikiri prison. Out one eye! Rubbish! Shameless man. And the new look. Oh, you mean this baby right here? Of course. This is my long overdue birthday present to myself. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? No. Okay. <laughs> you got this for yourself. I know, right? Mm -hmm. You know, after what happened between myself and Roy, mm. it got me thinking really hard. Like, I'm not going to spend my life waiting for a life partner and being miserable about it. Mm. So I'm going to enjoy my life every moment and hence the new car, mm -hmm. new wardrobe, mm -hmm. and new apartment. Thank you very much. Oh <laughs> my God, I'm so happy for you. Thank God you finally come to your senses. Yes, thank God I finally, you didn't help me come to my senses, right? So you're saying thank God I've come to my senses. <laughs>
say that um, you look stunning. Really? Yes. You like my look? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's my way of announcing that I have moved on from the past. Mm. Sounds great. It's good mm -hmm. to hear that you have moved on. Thank you, boss. Yes. And, um, I will also add that you have begun that sparkle you have in your eyes. I have. That's <laughs> what makes you like Victoria. Try not to lose it again, okay? I promise, boss. I won't ever Girl Scouts or no. How do they do that again? <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so how about we go out and celebrate this new transformed you? <gasps> Absolutely! It's more celebrating. You know. Yes, boss! Alright, in that case, <laughs> the wedding is Victoria. Thank you, boss. I'm, I was thinking, isn't it about time you stop calling me Miss Victoria? And she has become a friend too. <laughs> <laughs> the, main, the main folks are in trouble. <laughs> That's how it is. I just. I told myself, look, I'm going to enjoy my life to the fullest. I mean, when I think about it, it's not every person in my circle that I've made it up to 35. And some of them, some of them are in the mortuary waiting to be buried. Look, so I told myself, look, I'm going to be thankful and grateful for what I have. That's good, that's okay. Both, um, are you saying that you no longer have time for a relationship? Are you totally off from men now? Capital, yes. <laughs> Capital, yes. Totally. I'm going to take all of that energy and focus it on my career, you know? The truth of the matter is, I secretly nursed this idea to be my own boss. To have my own business someday. But I think now is the time. You know? Too bad. Why too bad? You despise the idea because you don't want to lose me as an employee? Not that. There's more to it. I'm sorry, I don't follow. <laughs> Look, Victoria, it seems there have been so many guys, people coming in and out of your life, you stable. Mm. And that has um, deprived me of, you know, doing something that I've been longing to do. But now that the coast is clear, I think it's, it's the right time for me to do it. Still don't follow. say about this Miss Victoria why don't we just go ahead and make it legal at once please I don't know what to say just say yes you say yes and bring me out of this misery or don't you know I've been in love with you for so long I've lived in agony, watch you go through these relationships and pray none ever works out. You know, Kelvin, I mean, just looking at you now, and I think to myself, what the heck have you been? 
You are so lovely. And just looking at you, I realize how deeply in love I am with you. I really am. So, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Chalk on you.